I'm Jake and we're back with another Down and Dirty where we take simple problems and create quick solutions. Today, I'm gonna to make a laptop stand, so let's get into it. So I went ahead and started by taking some rough measurements of the computer. We're gonna have a base of 14 by 10 inches, but I'm gonna to go to the sketch and I'm gonna sketch the side of it first. So let's go to the CAD. We're gonna start off by creating a sketch and I'm gonna just draw a simple rectangle. That rectangle is gonna be generic right now. I'm gonna make the back of it seven and a half inches. And then I'm gonna draw a line across it, just up from the one side and over to the edge. And we're gonna set that one side to two inches. This is gonna be the front and the back of our computer stand. And then we're gonna set this diagonal to 10 inches and that's gonna set the shape of the overall uh, computer stand. Now we're gonna collect sheet metal. We're gonna create a flange of this that base. We're gonna roll it off to the side and we're gonna select our material. Right on this one we're gonna do, uh, let's say aluminum 80. Click okay. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create another flange off of that angle. And we're gonna drag it over to seven inches. The reason why I'm making it seven inches is what we're gonna do is mirror this whole entire part. So we only have that one base flange or that side flange done at this uh, one time. So when I mirror this over off of seven inches, it's gonna create our overall width of 14 inches that we wanted for the width of the computer. And then the 10 inches is set off that side flange. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now I'm gonna come in here, click Mirror. We're gonna mirror this body and we're gonna mirror it off of that side edge. And now we have the full overall back of the computer stand. I'm gonna go ahead and create another flange here on the front end and we're gonna say that's one inch. This is gonna hold that computer from sliding off the front edge. When I do that, we can see here that I have a relief that it automatically creates. We're gonna go ahead and add some fillets and we're gonna soften some edges here so we don't have any sharp, sharp edges on our computer stand. Roll that around. We're gonna call this a quarter of an inch radius, done. All right, the last thing we wanna do is create some airflow on the back of the computer so it doesn't overheat. So I'm gonna create a circular pattern on the back of it, centered in the middle of the back flange so that we have that airflow. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna create a sketch on that back plane. And I'm gonna draw one diagonal line across that back. We're gonna tie it into these corners. By doing this, the center of that line is the center of that back flange. So we're gonna create that circle here. I'm gonna create this as a construction line and we're gonna make a one inch circle here. I can go ahead and drag this through or extrude it. And now we have that center hole. The last step here is to create a pattern using that extrusion that ends up having a rectangular effect on the back of it and creating a lot of holes for that airflow. So we're gonna click on rectangular pattern. We're gonna change bodies over to features and we're gonna select this feature out of our tree on the bottom. Our axis can be the back of this. And then now as we drag these out, we can see a whole pattern starting to pop up. So we're just gonna do something that feels good here and makes a little bit of sense. We can change this over to spacing, makes our math a little easier. And if we do a one and a half spacing by one and a half spacing. And there we go. So now that we have that whole pattern in the back, we're ready to create a flat pattern, the DXF, and get it to Sync Sense website. So we're gonna verify that our part is in inches. We're gonna select metals, aluminum, we need to do 50-52 because this is a bent part. And we did 80 thousandths thick. We're gonna click next. We're gonna add our bending. So 
We're gonna do 90 degrees on everything. And our front flange is opposite of our side flanges. Go ahead and click next. We're gonna add deburring, add to cart. Now that we have it added to our cart, we're gonna order it and get it to the manufacturing floor. Yeah. Now this is what I call a down and dirty laptop stand. For more information on bending, check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.